Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about why I decided to change from software engineering to computer science. I'm going to be splitting this video up into three parts. First, I'm actually going to be comparing these two degrees in terms of their course content. Then I'm going to be putting into perspective what type of jobs you can get with both degrees. And at the very, very end, I will be giving you guys my reasoning as to why I decided to change into computer science. I think these two degrees may vary a lot in terms of their course content, but it all depends on what type of institution you're currently studying at. In my case, our software engineering degree and our computer science degree are very similar to each other for the first couple of years. Things start to change once you hit your fifth semester. Keep in mind that our computer science degree is only three years, while our accredited software engineering degree is four years. And yes, I say accredited because this is actually an engineering degree. You get the ring and you get to call yourself an engineer. Now you may be asking yourself, so, what changes? Let's just put these two degrees side by side and let's actually compare them. Both degrees will provide you with a solid data structures and algorithm class. As most of you guys know, this class is extremely important and it's probably the class that contains the most important concepts that will land you that job. You'll have programming classes in both degrees. In my case, both programs actually offer two object-oriented programming classes with Java where they teach you programming basics and a few object-oriented concepts. There's also a web development class offered in both degrees, as well as a programming paradigm class that is super outdated. Not only that, but both programs will have courses that will introduce you to computing hardware, operating systems, a few math classes like Cal 3, linear algebra, discrete mathematics, and so on. Up to now, both degrees are pretty similar, but let's take a look at where software engineering starts to kick in. Basically, software engineering teaches you how to solve practical problems. All these classes focus on how to build large scale software systems in order to save money and time. The only issue is that these classes are extremely theoretical, meaning that there will be lots of PowerPoints with lots of information that you have to regurgitate because you will be tested on how much information you can actually retain. Now from experience, the first three classes were actually like that. I can only imagine the rest. Oh, hell no. A total of nine classes that will differentiate your software engineering degree to your computer science degree, and there's not much coding going on, which is actually one of the biggest reasons as to why I just wasn't going through with it. I like to add that the last two classes of your software engineering degree are capstone projects, meaning that you'll have a yearly capstone with other engineering students and you'll have to present this project at the end of your very last semester. In computer science, most of these classes become computer science electives. There are tons of courses to choose from, like advanced program design with C++, introduction to game development, advanced game development, data communication and computer networks, and so on. This makes the degree a lot more exciting and flexible. Now, I'm sure most of you guys are wondering what the difference is between computer science jobs and software engineering jobs. So let's actually dive into it. And let me show you what most employers ask in terms of qualifications. So let's actually go on Safari and let's go on indeed.com and search for software engineer. Let's see what type of jobs we can find in my area. Um, so let's try HP. Why not? We all know HP. So requirements, bachelors of computer science or bachelors in software or computer engineering. So that's pretty interesting. Both degrees are required. Let's try this one, nuance. There you go, education. Bachelors in computer science or software engineering or equivalent work experience. Interesting, again, both degrees. I think I could honestly go all night. Oh, look at that, this one is really interesting. Software developer, electronic arts. There you go, experience, working in environment, blah, 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 blah. Computer science degree, computer engineering or equivalent education or experience. Again, it's always the same degrees coming back and forth. Like they actually don't care that much as long as you have what they're asking for and you can do the job and you obviously have the experience under your belt. That's what's going to matter to them, guys. Now, all of this brings me to my main point. 
why did I change? Our computer science degree is a lot more flexible, meaning that you avoid taking those engineering classes since computer science is not an accredited engineering program. On top of that, all these project management software classes are not part of the computer science curriculum, meaning that you can actually take other cool programming classes, have more free time for yourself in order to build projects, reinforce your fundamentals in computer science, and you actually get to graduate a year earlier. But the major drawback is that you no longer get to become an engineer, which actually gives you a huge amount of status in society. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it for yourself. I've tried it. I've told people, oh yeah, I'm studying software engineering. And they look at me like if I'm some sort of genius. And I've told other people I'm studying computer science. It's just like, so you can fix my computer. So doing a software engineering degree purely to get that engineering ring is not a bad idea. As an ex-engineering student, your time tends to be very limited since it's a very demanding discipline to study. If you have a part-time job with over 20 hours a week, you're a full-time student, it can actually become very difficult to do other things throughout the semester. I've recently started a media creation company. I also love making YouTube videos and I love putting content on Instagram daily. So all of this wouldn't be quite possible by studying engineering at the same time because I'm actually no smart cookie. Like I've said, we all have different ambitions, different goals, and choosing one degree over another should not be a deal breaker. At the end of the day, you're the sole driving force which decides where you want to be at in the next 10 years. And I can reassure you that a piece of paper won't decide that for you. The goal of this video is to shed some light on this topic, as well as my personal opinion as to why I think it's good to change either into computer science or software engineering. I'm not putting software engineering down, I'm not putting computer science down. It all all depends on what you're currently doing or what you sort of want to do. With all this being said, I hope this video helps you make a decision and I hope I really didn't confuse you even more. If you enjoy these type of videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I really enjoy making YouTube videos and I'm still trying to find my voice on YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoy my videos and benefit from them. My name is Andres Vidosa and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.